everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I am actually very, very excited about. Um, I was actually able to get the chance to do another collaboration. So today we are doing a collab with the fantastic Katie Did Art. Now Katie is a lovely, amazing, uh, sweet kind of person and yeah her videos are just so helpful and useful and she does a lot of different stuff with art and the reason I love her channel is because she always tries different stuff she does a lot of um, art supply kind of videos she does uh, she has a series of zodiac characters which is super super cool and I love them <laughs> she also does like sort of unboxing uh, art like box type things which are really cool and I just honestly really love her channel because I don't know um, she just seems like a really happy Happy, nice kind of person and it's a really nice sort of uh, channel to watch <laughs> so yeah today we are doing a collaboration now when we were deciding what to collaborate on uh, she mentioned that we could do a fall themed uh, collaboration because uh, in her area fall is just starting however um, me being on the absolute other side of the earth uh, our seasons are a little bit different to the Northern Hemisphere so over here in Australia it's actually spring starting at the moment as I've mentioned probably countless times before so when we were talking about that I actually got a really cool idea that I wanted to try and I thought you know why don't we do a sort of uh, theme around spring versus fall or autumn as I call it <laughs> and um I, I gave that idea to her to see what she thought about it and she actually really liked that idea so we decided to go ahead with it. So as you can see uh, from my sketches before and right now I'm inking, I'm actually doing a sort of illustration where there's two sort of uh, deities or I don't know, they're sort of creatures and one of them represents spring and you guessed it, the other one represents fall or autumn. Now I did this because I had this cool idea of like two different sort of uh, creatures or deities that are like uh, what controls uh, the seasons. So there's one down below and I decided to use a European hair for this and this was because spring and a lot of the time uh, with spring you think flowers, you think animals are starting to be more active and a lot of animals are breeding and that kind of thing and uh, a rabbit or a hare just felt really really uh, convenient for this sort of uh, theme so I definitely wanted to do a hair for spring now the reason I chose a European hair is because I just really really like the way they look they look a lot different to rabbits I find that they I don't know if they actually are bigger but they do look bigger and they have sort of longer larger limbs and a sort of longer snout and really really big like sort of almost goofy ears and I just really love the look of them and I thought that that was uh, a little bit more different than your usual rabbit. Now for fall uh, I actually decided to go with a deer or a stag and that's mainly because I was sort of trying to look up uh, animals that were more active uh, throughout the whole year and I found that um, deer are actually more active uh, compared to other animals uh, during fall and winter which is really good because I wouldn't want to pick an animal which is starting to go to sleep during fall because that would just be silly. <laughs> so yeah I picked an animal that was active throughout the whole year and I really like the idea of a deer mainly because uh, the antlers on top of uh, its head kind of remind me a little bit of like tree branches that don't have leaves on them and I thought that would be really cool because uh, the deer's body could be like a pile of leaves and then the, the antlers on top of its head look like the branches in which the leaves fell from so I thought that that was a really cool idea for that one. Now that I've got the inking done with my Copic multiliners I decided to go in with my Copic markers. Now um, 
I actually decided to go into the background first as I usually do because I was really excited about the sort of simple uh, background that I decided to do for this illustration. Now um, I actually sort of thought to myself like these animals they're sort of running throughout the land sort of spreading uh, their season onto nature to sort of like you know start spring and autumn so I thought you know obviously they're gonna have some kind of like aura around them now for the rabbit or hair down the bottom I decided a sort of aura that follows along behind it to be uh, a sort of pink kind of speckly aura and that's basically to symbolize sort of flower petals and um yeah I really like I was really interested in that kind of look to have like flower petals like well, they're not really flower petals they're kind of just like it's aura sort of floating along behind it and um, I did a similar one for the deer above and I actually decided to do uh, an orange very similar aura except the orange sort of symbolizes leaves now obviously leaves fall it kind of just fits that theme Now, as you can see, the bodies of these two uh, creatures, they are comprised mainly of plants. Now, this isn't like an animal covered in plants. These plants are sort of part of the animal. I don't know. It's just something I sort of made up in my imagination. It actually kind of reminds me of the Pokemon Shaman, um, if you've ever seen it. It basically looks like a little hedgehog uh, covered with grass and sometimes flowers. I thought of that kind of thing because uh, it's a very naturey kind of feel to this illustration and I really really wanted to push the themes of uh, spring and fall so that's why I decided to do that and also because I thought it would be really fun to sort to sort of draw these lush plants uh, next to this sort of uh, semi-realistic but still sort of cartoony animal I thought that that would be really cool because the outlines of the animal are sort of soft and fluffy and like there's gaps because I've obviously drawn this furry little animal uh, next to these like sort of leaves that are sort of more crisp lined and um, yeah I just thought that that would be interesting So with the leaves on the deer, I decided to go with the lightest colors first and I went through with some yellows and some oranges and then after that I sort of laid some more greens and browns and really dark reds over more of the leaves until I could really fill up that whole area because not all of those leaves are sort of defined. I wanted to leave some of them a little bit more obscure the ones behind and that's mainly because you don't want to add too much line art because it could get a little bit messy so uh for the leaves on the lower layers of uh the body <laughs> um they're mainly uh comprised of just like the colors of the markers and the pencils that i used and i felt that that was a really uh, interesting and fun way to finish off the leaves of that also use that same sort of technique with the uh, plants on the bunny and that was mainly with greens and pinks and stuff to symbolize sort of petals and little bits of flowers really deep underneath the sort of more lined art ones if that makes sense tell me if that makes sense on each character after I did the leaves and flowers I went in with the body mainly with uh, sort of browns and earth tones and slight yellowy tones for highlights and that's mainly because I wanted both these animals to sort of even though they're very different they are also very similar so I wanted them to have sort of similar colors so of course I picked browns and stuff that was natural to that animal and I just sort of blended it in a nice way that looked kind of nice and had a bit of a storybook vibe after that I went over with some uh, gel pen to add some little highlights here and there and I was mostly done. So I really really am happy with this illustration and I find that um, it kind of gives off that vibe of like two different very different entities sort of uh, somehow crossing paths even though they were never meant to. Uh, that's the sort of story that I had in mind for this illustration. So if you guys are new here, my name is Sarah and my channel is Scribble Fix. I do a lot of art related videos, art challenges, uh, some art supply stuff and just, you know, 
illustrations and stuff that I like to do in my spare time. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do make sure you hit like and subscribe and go check out Katie's uh, video because she is going to be amazing at this I know <laughs> and um, I'm really excited to see what she's done. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.